Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to upgrade your .NET Framework and .NET Core apps to latest .NET 8 using Upgrade Assistance. .NET 8 SDK was officially released on November 14, which was yesterday, and they have also released a Upgrade Assistance extension for the Visual Studio. And we are going to take a look at that and see how we can upgrade our project. So without dreaming, come, let's get started. So there are only three simple steps to achieve this. Step number one is to install the .NET 8 SDK in your local machine. And you can do that by following the link that I'm going to give you in the description. And once you install your SDK, step one is completed. And step two is to install the extension in your Visual Studio. And I will show you how to do that. You just need to install .NET Upgrade Assistant extension. And then this is how you will look. So you have to go to extension search for dotnet upgrade in the search on the, the online and you will find that extension and you need to install it after that you just need to open up your project it could be a dotnet framework or a dotnet core project or there are multiple other options are available you just need to upgrade your project and we will see the demo now when you do that you will have options like this right based on the project that you choose like your dotnet core or dotnet framework or a mvc application the options will differ okay the three maximum options that is available in place project upgrade meaning the same project itself is directly upgraded or the side by side project upgrade and then side by side incremental project upgrade so the the last two options depends on which application that you are choosing if it is a web application then it will be a side by side project upgrade and what it is supported is these applications these these are the different applications that are supported using the upgrade assistant now it's time for the demo let's take a look at the demo so i took one of the existing applications that we already built restaurant table booking app it's built using dotnet 7 you can use dotnet 6 also or 5 also not beyond that right so not very old one so when you use that go to extension and search for dotnet upgrade so once you choose that, there will be a .NET Upgrade Assistance extension package available. You install it. I have already installed, so that's why the check mark was there. Now right click on the project and you will see an option called Upgrade. You have to choose the upgrade and select the options that is available. So in my case, there was only one option because for this project, it is a direct upgrade on the project. See, the project is now analyzed and started upgrading by itself. So it will find out all the dependencies and then it will upgrade all the dependencies that are required to go and support with .NET 8. Once you're done with that, it will uh, do its uh, dependency installations and all the packages will be upgraded. Right. So once it is done, that project is done. And in our whole web application, like the web API project, we have four projects. So I'm going to fast forward this and upgrade all the other three projects exactly same there is no difference so let's quickly fast forward it now all the four projects are done it's building and there are chances that you might get error see this got an error so one of the four project right the dot net uh, entity framework did not get upgraded to 8.0 so I did that manually and then I'm going to clean up and rebuild this. Once the rebuild is successful, see all the rebuild of all the projects are successful. I'm able to run it and it will open up the Swagger endpoint and we will quickly test whether the endpoints are working, which will conclude that application has been upgraded to the latest one. So let's open up one of the endpoint, which is not having any authentication for me. So I'm going to execute it. If I get a data, we should be good. Yes, we got the data. So the application has been upgraded to .NET 8. See, it's very simple. This is just one of the example. If based on what project you are going to upgrade to the latest one, you can do that. I will give you a hint. Even .NET Framework 4.8 can be upgraded to .NET 7, 6 or 8. So if you're doing that, do let me know in the comment section what happened to your project. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!